Hello, sweeties. Well, I am outside cooking on the Traeger. And generally, this is Jay's job. But, boo-boo. Uh, <laughs> but I figured, why not? I'm sure I can cook on the Traeger. He walked me through it on the phone. So everything I think is going according to plan. I am making some delicious pork steaks today. And while I am making delicious pork steaks, I thought I would give you guys a carnivore update. I have not given you a carnivore update since January. And January is the month that I did my carnivore elimination diet um, it's over so I thought I would update you and let you guys know how it went I did end up losing seven pounds and seven or eight inches I'm not sure which I don't remember from all over my body you know how that goes um, I have not weighed myself yet for February and I have changed up a little bit how I'm going about carnivore. I am still mostly carnivore. My strategy right now is I do carnivore basically Monday through Friday and I do keto Saturday, Sunday. It's working out pretty well, at least as far as how I feel. I'm gonna find the real test when I weigh myself and see if it's actually working to help me lose weight. So far, I have not found any foods that I eliminated and then reintroduced that affect me in a negative way. So I believe that it is as I suspected, as I talked about in my last video, that I was just eating way too much of the junk keto food. And again, I did talk about it in my last video, but I was eating all the good stuff, the keto ice cream, the rebel ice cream, which is absolutely keto, but I was eating it often. I was making keto cookies and keto brownies and keto cake and bagels and um, keto McMuffins and again, all of the fun stuff, all of the junky stuff. So I feel like I was just eating too much of it to be successful in losing weight. I was fine maintaining weight. I didn't gain anything. But as far as progressing on my weight loss, I wasn't doing that. So if you guys are on a weight loss journey and I can share one thing with you that helps you, it's going to be this. Junk food is always going to be junk food. Uh, an Atkins candy bar at the end of the day is still a candy bar. A Quest protein bar that's covered in chocolate at the end of the day is a high protein candy bar. I think the only protein bar that I could recommend um, that would probably be the best are the Epic bars, which are basically meat. I mean, they're straight protein. So all good stuff in there no chocolate no cake <laughs> nothing like that they're just a meat bar basically i still think they're probably not something that you want to eat all the time i don't because they are a little high in carbs for me but in a pinch they would be perfect and thinking back on my month in january if i had kept an Epic Bar in my bag, it would have prevented me from cheating the one time that I did. Um, I don't know if you guys follow J2, but he ended up having to go to the emergency room. And while we were in there waiting, we had no idea how long he was gonna be, how long the doctors or anything were gonna be. And both of us were like starving. So 
I went to the cafeteria on the lookout for the best possible thing I could find and literally the only thing they had were sandwiches. They were between breakfast and lunch and they had pre-packed sandwiches. So I ate a sandwich. I don't feel bad about it. And I don't think that it hindered my progress at all. But had I had the forethought to have an Epic Bar in my bag, it would have prevented that from happening. So big brain time, I gotta get some Epic Bars and keep them, or keep one at least in my bag. But I do feel like the carnivore elimination was a success. To be honest, I thought that I was gonna miss cheese, something fierce, and I don't really at all. Even on keto weekends, I find myself not really eating cheese. So I feel like that's a good thing. I was eating a lot of cheese and I still love cheese. Don't get me wrong. I just find myself not really thinking about it, not really craving it. So I think that's a plus. During the week right now, I am carnivore. I'm trying to stay as carnivore as possible. But like today, for instance, I did decide that I was going to have one of my coffees with heavy cream in it. And I did that. And again, I, I don't feel like this is going to hinder my progress at all. There are people on the carnivore diet who do incorporate dairy into their daily eating. So I don't really feel bad about doing it. It's breezy out here, you guys. We're getting some beautiful Florida weather. I just want you to know. Anywho. Um, but I do try to stay as carnivore as possible during the week. And as far as how I feel, I feel as good as I did in January. So the scale is going to be the test. Maybe if I don't lose as much weight as I want, maybe I'll scale it back to one keto day a week. We'll have to see how that goes. But so far, so good. Yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions, of course, you can leave them in the comments down below. Excuse me any comments, any questions in the comments down below. Um, I do have my carnivore shopping list on my Patreon. So if you want to check that out, that's over there. And again, this is just my carnivore shopping list. It's not an all encompassing carnivore shopping list. It's just the stuff that I find myself purchasing a lot. So there's that. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to click that little bell icon and click all notifications to see all of my updates. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.